With this video, I wanted to find out if it was even possible to create an entire online course with ChatGPT to see if it could create the framework of an entire online course business. So was ChatGPT successful? So stay tuned as I walk you through the entire process and the prompts that I used inside of ChatGPT. Oh, and by the way, in this video, I'm also going to be sharing how to get the entire list of prompts that I put together while making this video. Plus, you will be able to get access to all the output that it put together as an example. Okay, so every good course starts with a transformational headline. Without it, your online course is destined to fail. So I asked my handy assistant, ChatGPT, can you create 10 transformational headline ideas for a course on how to start your own digital marketing agency and make a full-time income online? And in a matter of seconds, I had 10 different headline ideas to start with. Not bad for a marketing assistant that, well, frankly, I'm paying $0 an hour. So let's see where we can take this. So I chose my favorite headline of the bunch and asked this. Can you add more to the headline, start your own digital marketing agency and say goodbye to the nine to five grind? Maybe something about earning six figures and living life on your terms. Now, I like the concept of the headline, but I felt it needed more. And I landed with, start your own digital marketing agency and say goodbye to the nine to five grind build a six figure business and live life on your own terms. Now, to me, this seemed to work well as a headline and sub headline combo. Next, I was to have ChatGPT give me 10 feature and benefit driven bullet points. Okay, good work assistant, but there is no way that you can create a course outline on those bullet points better than I could. Can you? Okay, here we go. And I must say, I'm impressed. Not only is this outline awesome, but it would have taken me hours to painstakingly research, way over analyze everything, and probably come up with something not quite as good as this. Next, I wanted to find a way to add more value to the customers of this course, so I asked ChatGPT, can you create a course checklist that will help the customers of this course get amazing results implementing what they learn? Okay, now this is absolutely awesome, guys, because what just happened here was ChatGPT just created the first deliverable for my online course. And with this, I'm able to create something my customers will find valuable to getting results with this online course. And at this point, I'm thinking, what do I need to do to put this course together? So I literally just asked, ChatGPT, can you give me a list of the course materials I will need to create, including videos, PDFs, templates, checklists, and anything else that might be helpful. And the goal is for students to implement and get results. And voila, it told me what I should create from lessons to templates, to checklists, to deliverables. Okay, Mr. Assistant, you said I need a syllabus. Can you create a syllabus for this online course? And there we go. Okay, now this next one was for fun. I already had a course outline at this point that I loved. However, I've always been a fan of the Udemy style outlines for courses. So I asked, can you create me a Udemy style outline for this course? And this gave me a totally different take on the course format and potential content ideas not included in the original outline. Okay, so at this point, we have a great, no, we have an amazing foundation for our online course business. So it was time to dig deeper. So I chose one of the modules and asked, 
can you create me a lesson plan for this module? And not only did it deliver, but it spit out five different lesson topics and content points within. In fact, while reviewing what it gave me, I could have easily created 10 course videos based on the information that it gave me. From simply asking it to generate a lesson for just one of my online course modules. And I thought maybe I came across dumb luck, so I repeated the process a couple more times. And it didn't let me down. <sighs> Mr. Assistant might be getting a raise. Now, the second lesson it created was about systemizing a digital marketing agency. So I asked ChatGPT to give me a list of SOP or standard operating procedures that a digital marketing agency should have. This would add value to my customers knowing what SOPs and systems that they should have. And within seconds, yes, a full list of SOPs. So of course I dug deeper. And my thought was, what if I could just provide the customers of this course with a list of SOP templates or examples that they could use in their business. So I picked one of the SOP ideas it gave me and I asked this, can you create an SOP for the project execution process for a digital marketing agency that develops websites for a plumbing business? Right, so I took a specific niche and a type of agency and asked for it to create a specific process for that. And it did just that. Mind blown. So at this point, I was pretty excited. I could literally create a full list of SOPs and examples that I could add as a bonus for this course a major deliverable for this course. Now just imagine the value that it would provide to the customers and the value they would see my online course by having all of this inside of it. So I said, what other resources could I create? How about a good list of niches for a digital marketing agency? So I said, can you create a list of different types of digital marketing agencies that have specializations. For example, some agencies that specialize in website design, some specialize in PPC marketing. What are other types of agencies? So I was giving it some info to pull from. Ah, impressive. But what about this? Can you create a list of the best niches to start a digital marketing agency in that has a high client value? Okay, so maybe my assistant is a course creating whiz. But does it have the marketing chops? Well, there's only one way to find out. So every good online course promotion starts with a campaign to warm up your audience. So I asked it this, can you give me a list of emails I can write to warm up an audience on this course topic before I sell the course to them? Not only did it give me a list of ideas, but it actually told me what to write inside of the emails. Are you serious? This is legit. So I asked for even more ideas to create even more goodwill with potential customers. Okay, so this thing is an idea generating machine, but can it actually write these emails for me? So I said, can you write a sample email for this idea? resources and tools for starting a digital marketing agency. So next I thought, what if I created a webinar to sell this course? Okay, ChatGPT, can you write me five email ideas promoting a webinar titled, My Formula for Launching a Six-Figure Digital Marketing Agency and Escaping the Nine to Five Grind that Sells This Course? And again, not only did it give me ideas, but it gave me what to write in the actual emails. Okay, we're on to something here, but no good course promotion would be good without awesome bonuses. So I said, what are some really enticing bonuses that I could offer to the potential buyers of this course? I'm impressed. Okay, assistant, a raise is in order. And it's time to promote you to social media manager. Now, 
Can you give me five Facebook post ideas to generate interest and buzz about the course? And then I chose one of those ideas and asked, can you write a sample Facebook post for this idea? Oh, and it did not disappoint. So then I asked, can you rewrite the call to action on this post to promote the webinar instead of the course? And just like that, it was delivered. Okay, but I need some evergreen content to generate a steady flow of leads for this course. Can you give me 10 viral YouTube video ideas to generate leads for this course? No problemo. So at this point, I had all the components of a successful online course, except one really, really big thing. A course name that makes people want to buy. So is it even possible for ChatGPT to pull this off? I gotta be honest. I truly didn't think it would be capable of doing this. So what could I feed it to get a good course name idea? So I said, can you give me 10 epic and exciting course name ideas for this course? Okay, so let's be honest, not the greatest course names, not exactly what I was looking for. These were more like headlines or subject lines, but not course names. But maybe it was an error on my part, so I dug further. Can you create five course name ideas with the word agency and an action word? Okay, now this is cool, but can it get even better? Can you give me five more ideas just like that, but add a third word? And being so impressed, I asked for even more. So guys, I gotta say, this is truly impressive. In a matter of 20 to 30 minutes, I did what would normally take me days, weeks, and sometimes even months. And guys, let's be honest, creativity comes and goes. And when the iron isn't hot, you can't strike. And overanalyzing is a real thing. And research takes a long time. So to wrap up, the amount of time saving here is massive. But there's one key thing you gotta remember to be successful with AI. Any AI tool is only as good as the information that you give it. And guys, that is why I wanna give you access to all the prompts that I put together while creating this video to really build out an online course business. Plus, I wanna give you access to all the example content so I'll put a link in the description where you can go download that for free. Now make sure you subscribe to the channel because in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to take this to the next level to use ChatGPT to create content for your business.